Nice. So we bought this bike this past week from a collector up in Massachusetts who was getting up there in years and was thinning the herd. We picked up three bikes from him, a KZ 750 with a 4 in one and a CB 450A. And this was sort of the, the crown jewel of the collection, the ZRX right here, and was really super psyched to get it because you don't see them in stock trim without an aftermarket pipe on it. This one's got the stock pipe and it's unmolested. It wasn't ever tracked. It, this was ridden on Sundays, it looks to me, Bill. That's right. These bikes are trackable. I have a friend that's an instructor at the Penguin Road Racing School, and he's been riding one of these for probably 20 years. And it's basically stock. He's done a little bit to it uh, to upgrade it, to make it more track worthy, but uh, he's out there instructing uh, all these years with a ZRX 11 and uh, absolutely loves it. He would rather have no other bike. So check it out, guys. This is what's in the folder. We have a clear title. Uh, we have some work orders, including a 2013 work order where the bike had the forks rebuilt, as well as brand new Bridgestone Battle Axe tires put on it at a cost of, let me see, it was over $800. It looks like $884.53 receipt for the Xerox fork brace, as well as the brake kit, I believe, and some, yeah, look, the mirror extensions. Right. Clear title and it's just been freshly serviced uh, downstairs in the shop. Looks like by Jimmy Laurinaitis. Yes. One of our master techs here. Jimmy did a, a thorough check over on our complete check over. Uh, service the engine oil at Bellray MC4 engine oil. New oil filter. Moved all of the pivot points, adjusted the drive chain, set the tire PSI at 36 pounds front and rear. And then it went down into the detail department where it was hot water pressure washed, degreased, the frame was touched up, the hardware was polished, the seat cover grips, tires were cleaned, and they also polished the tank fenders and other painted tins. So the bike shows just beautifully light touch up on the frame. There was no need for any sort of touch up on the tins whatsoever. Nick free, dent free, very, very straight original bike at all owned and maintained for the majority of his life. We just got it in again, it's clear Massachusetts title. Jimmy gave it a clean bill of health. There's phenomenal tread on the tires front and rear, but they are 2012, 2013 day code. Um, I would run these exactly at how they are. Uh, there's no checking or dry rot to be seen. Uh, they're still nice and soft and pliable. As Billy demonstrated, there's uh, all the <laughs> plenty of grip. Um, Billy's running up through the gears. What was your first impressions on it, Bill? The bike's just like my other ZRX, uh, my own ZRX, you know, uh, lots of power, massive mid-range wallop, and this bike is quiet as a mouse with the stock exhaust. And if there's anything ticking or clicking in the engine, like, you know, if valves need adjustment or whatever, you're gonna hear it loud and clear with the stock exhaust. This motor is quiet as a mouse along with the exhaust. It's just, uh, it's a bike that's uh, seen light use and been, uh, been very well cared for, kept inside, obviously. Around the head here, where there's clear coat over aluminum, th there's no signs of corrosion, a little paint chipping, but that is typical, you know, painted aluminum is gonna do that, it's gonna shed paint. Uh, you know, definitely a remarkable uh, uh, example of the ZRX11. And having two of them myself, I can see imperfections from a mile away. This is one sign that the fairing has never been off, but maybe once. These, uh, the graphics here go underneath the screw head, and even though there's a protective uh, plastic washer under there, it still winds up this graphic and pulls it off, and it's rare to see one that's anywhere near this good. So, you know, just, just to show uh, that this is a very robust motorcycle, and, uh, you know, it has little minor uh, idiosyncrasies like this. The, the uh, stock uh, windscreen, um, you know, it's crystal clear, and uh, they get cloudy after a while, after some use. My other bike, uh, one of my bikes has uh, over 60,000 miles on it, and it has a stock winch, windscreen, but um, it uh, hasn't stayed clear like this one has. Uh, again, showing signs of light use, stock original grips, all the original switch gear, um, no Mars from, uh, you know, I, I, I'm a big fan of leaving the keys uh, this way even just one key so it doesn't it doesn't gouge up the dash area this is a very clean dash area once you get the clutch out 
Uh, it's very maneuverable. It doesn't feel like a heavy bike is what I'm saying. It's low center of gravity. Uh, in this example, you know, it's got all the cool stuff on it. Check out the swing arm. This is super bike derived cam type uh, uh, chain adjustment. Uh, it just massive swing arm to you know, help get the power to the ground because this bike does put out about 125 horsepower stock. So that's a lot of horsepower from a, you know, basically a stock street bike. You know, don't underestimate it. This has the spools on the swing arm for, uh, for a, a lift stand, which is handy to have without a center stand on the bike. Um, and again, uh, you know, pieces that go far away from the bike. Uh, the, the, the chain guard, I have, you know, with two of these, I don't have a cha stock chain guard. This, this is the stock chain guard that uh, has survived. Uh, Jill and I, my wife Jill and I, got on our ZRX on a 32 degree morning and two days later uh, from Connecticut, we were in Daytona in March, which was uh, pretty remarkable. This bike, it was, to stay up with traffic, you had to be going 90 miles an hour just about all the time. And uh, the two of us, you know, made, made the 1200 mile trip in two days. And I was comfortable. I'm not really sure how she was on the back seat, but uh, you know, it definitely held up and, and uh, served us well, uh, never hiccuped, um, and turned around and went right back and did it on the way back as well. So it was about a 3,000 mile week. And uh, you know, the kind of, this is the kind of bike you could go across country on very, very comfortably with you, a tank bag and maybe a You bag don't hesitate at all? No. Because you know it'll make it? No, that's right, yeah. No, no doubts about whether it's gonna make it mechanically. You know, um, you know with a, a very uh, light, maintenance these bikes can stay on the road for years and years billy thanks for that if you guys are interested message your zip code for a shipping quote thanks for watching thus far any closing remarks bill well if i had more room in the garage i'd have a third i think <laughs> <laughs> we just got done shooting the rd350 is 75 and billy bought that model brand new uh, back in the day and it just so happens that the second bike we shot was the zrx 1100 that he owns two of, and this right. is a very nice example. So Billy's uh, lots of temptation around the shop <laughs> I today. I'm in heaven. These are the bikes that I love. I really do. And you know, if you have something that's this important to you, you don't forget about it. It's, uh, you know, my my two ZRXs are both serviceable, and uh, but uh, the second one, the, the one I'm riding today, actually, that I rode to work, uh, has got a. Um, it's got some issues, but I still ride right around it. I, I, I love the bike, the power, the, the handling, the performance. Um, and uh, mine is nowhere near as nice as this, but it's an original, original trim as this one is. I, I really appreciate the originality of this, this particular bike. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck bidding, and God bless America.